Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about my favorite speculation moving into the new sets, moving into uh, Hour of Devastation. I like Heart of Kenrin a lot. It is one of my favorite cards. Right now you can buy on TCG Play for $9 with 99 cents shipping. You can also buy on eBay as a play set for slightly under $40 worth shipping. Why do I like it? I like cards that are strong. Cards that have very, very good power levels. Smuggler's Copter was a card that was very strong. You could argue Emiko should have been should not have been banned and they should have hit A for Work Marvel, but A for Work Marvel was a card that was really strong in terms of power level. What I look at is hmm, does this resemble any cards or does this resemble a effect I've seen before? And if so, is it better? This card is the ideal, well, Smuggler Copter is the ideal vehicle because of the crew. But this card is the ideal card today since Smuggler Copter is no longer here. Do I expect it to be banned? I'm just gonna straight address this issue. Uh, a lot of people feel like a 4 Marvel should have been banned. The cat combo, crazy cat combo should have been banned. Amico should have been banned. Um, even, I don't know how many people believe it, but the maids, reflector maids, was banned and there must have been somebody who wanted to ban, right? Otherwise they wouldn't have been banned. The issue I have is they cannot continue to ban cards in tier one decks. And the reason they cannot do that is by definition, if 40% of people are playing a for work Marvel and you ban a for work Marvel, you just kind of screwed over 40% of a for of magic players. The same can be said about Crazy Cat Lady, Lady combo. You ban the Guardian and boom, that deck is dead. So I don't expect any more bans moving. I don't expect any future bans and not of this card. Why I like it, it's a 4-4 Flying Vigilance for 2. And if you have a Planeswalker, this is ideal. I like Gideon of Trials, which is a sub $10 card. I think it's like 11 or $12 right now. I like this particular combination. I've always liked Nyssa. Now rotation is happening. We cannot ignore rotation. We lose Nyssa and Gideon. Ally of Zendikar, which is one of the stronger cards to go with this. However, I fully expect better Planeswalkers, to be quite honest. This goes good well with... You know, future planeswalkers and the future planeswalkers, in my opinion, seem quite pushed. They want to make planeswalkers happen. This is a card that gives planeswalkers a lot of power, a lot of reach. Even the card alone will finish your opponent off with evasion and defense in five turns. There's not too many two drops that you can say that about. That in five turns, you are already putting a clock on your opponent because it has evasion, vigilance, and does its job. It protects the planeswalkers that you are playing. Now, can I predict what planeswalkers are going to be great? Is this going to be great for Nico Boles? Probably not. Nico Boles is top of the curve, and he really doesn't need that much protection. But I could see future planeswalkers in Axelon. We have a Jace. Jace typically... At most, he costs four. Or I guess he had Jace Memory Adept at five. But I remember Jace as a cheaper Planeswalker. And this one will be very good with him. Uh, with whatever the new Jace is, Vraska. This could be amazing with Vraska. The key here, the super important part to know, this card is an artifact. You can play it with any Planeswalker. It's not limited by whatever Planeswalker is popular. So maybe Lily is popular one day and then rotate and then doesn't, is not popular the next day. And then Nicobolas is popular in free colors. None of that matters. This is an artifact. It can be played in every single Planeswalker deck. Every single one of them. Uh, so it doesn't matter what Nyssa is in the new set. It doesn't matter what um, Jace looks like. It doesn't matter what Vraska looks like. They are going to be hyped and they will be pushed because they are planeswalkers. Planeswalkers are the symbol of Magic the Gathering today and I cannot expect, we should not expect to see weak planeswalkers ever again from Tibble.
Now, planeswalkers can be very cheap. They can be a little underpowered and not uh, overwhelming, but as a mechanic, planeswalkers are very, very good. A two drop that protects your planeswalkers to turn your planewalk planeswalkers come into play, and you can still do a lot of damage, and you can put a clock. This is a clock at two. You know, it reminds me of Tamagoyf. It really does. It reminds me of a Tamagoyf with evasion that doesn't grow bigger and relies on the Planeswalkers. But if you're play playing the correct deck, that Planeswalker reliance is not a big problem. That's actually a benefit because you need to protect them. Now, is there, you know, I, I do like Chandra, Torch of Defiance. I think that's very good with this card. Gideon of Trials, yeah, it's met to me right now. I mean, I hope Gideon will be better, but right now he's just met. Liliana, Let Last Hope, is not bad with this card. I am looking forward to the newest Planeswalkers, uh, the Axelon ones. Jace should be very good. Jace has typically had a very... Jace's have typically in the past been very good at what they do, which is card draw, card selection, and playing cards from graveyards. Jace Vin Prodigy was the dominant, most dominant card. And if they were to push a Planeswalker, his name will be Jace. So uh, you need to protect Jace because Jace is typically not the greatest. I mean, he does give minus two, minus zero and things of, of that nature. But uh, having a 4-4 four, four flyer that can block pretty much anything when Jace hits the floor is incredibly important. Plus, they can't hit it with sorcery speed removal. Not only is this a huge body, a huge body that has a clock on it that protects your planeswalkers, it's hard to remove. It is truly a, a beast to remove because a lot of times when you want to do stuff to kill it, it just doesn't, you cannot kill it that easily. You have to kill it with instant speed removal, which is not every single type of removal. Anyway, that is it. Leave me a comment below if you agree, you disagree. $9.99 with shipping is the current price today. I know people will ask, where did I get it? Well, I would say, look at the screenshot. Anyway, that is it. Bye, guys.